Well, the pandemic has left families searching for the safest ways to celebrate Halloween this year. And whether you plan to trick or treat or not, most kids will still be dressing up. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to talk about the essential accessory everybody needs, a mask. Masks are always a part of Halloween, but this year you need a mask like this to help protect yourself and others. Costume masks are not a substitute, but you can get creative. We know that cloth masks that have two layers of cloth are the best way to protect yourself when you're out trick-or-treating. So try to incorporate that as part of your costume. Try to find some cloth that uh, matches your costume and make your own masks. To be clear, the CDC says traditional trick-or-treating is a higher risk activity and it's not recommended, but doctors know some families plan to go anyway and others will be participating in socially distanced Halloween walks and other events. Everyone involved should be wearing a surgical mask or a cloth mask with at least two layers of fabric. It needs to cover your mouth and nose. Experts do not recommend wearing a Halloween mask over your cloth mask. It's going to be difficult to try to breathe in and it's just going to cut down on the amount of fun that you're trying to have on trick or treat. So let's stick with the cloth masks. I really like the idea of making or buying a mask to match your child's costume. And remember, all of the adults need a mask too. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Doc. Or you can just dress up as a doctor or nurse, right? The mask will fit right in. Thanks. By the way, you can review CDC guidelines for Halloween on the coronavirus resources section of our website. Click on Detroit.com.